March 31st. It's been uh, blowing snow all yesterday afternoon and this morning. It's starting to clear up a little bit now. Uh, minus nine, still windy. I've got pretty small plants in the greenhouse. They're not looking too happy right now. I think they're actually frozen solid. So today was much of a kind of an indoor day. There's plenty of things to do inside the house, so it's not like I get bored. Um, you can def definitely still be out here and do stuff. That's just not pleasant. I think Monica's down here already. I think she's chopping wood. She likes chopping wood. Oh, we got a dog. Okay, gonna do a pit stop here, unload a couple of things. That's a good wife while I was uh, out there unloading. She made a pile already. Oh, okay. And our smart dog here. It's gotta be in the Jeep. So we can't load it. She's not the brightest one. Been using this Husky eight pounder. It's been pretty good. It really works its way through most of the logs so far. This one's smaller, but it's got some juicy knots. Normally, no, they're only on that side. Oh no, there's another one. This, one. this one's kind of ugly. That one's gonna give me a hard time. All the power comes from within, right? It's not just here. It's like Karate Kid. That's right. Hey, you never focus here. You're going to be focusing down there. That's the only way this is going to happen. Don't hit the roof, okay? All right. And that's how it's done. Whoa. You're so strong, <laughs> husband. So the main reason I got through it, because I was angry. You have to be angry to get through the wood. I'm angry because I drank all the beer and I don't have any fucking beer. And to get beer, you have to drive into town. And I'm not doing that. So I'm angry. So I'm gonna some wood. Yeah, I drank all my beer and Monica's beer. I've been having a real tough time getting these posts out. These uh, metal posts that were down a foot and a half in the frozen ground. I wiggled and wiggled, but no way. Um, some boiling water helped to get this one out. I've got boiling water poured into the hole on that one. And I had uh, an ice pick and got this post out of the way so I can get all the barbed wire fencing out of the way. Got the post out of the way. That little tree probably gonna have to go. And then from there, should be able to squeeze through and get down to the bottom. Happy April 1st. Happy April Fools. Happy April Fools joke. What's well, not a joke that it's minus 12. And all my plants are dead. But that's all right. I'm just gonna bake more bread and eat more meat and bacon and sausages. Got a raven or a crow here saying good morning. Good morning from the caribou. circling around. I think there's three or four just circling overhead. I'm on the lower trail that I'm still clearing and just gonna do a walk through here. I don't think I can get the Jeep onto anything else except this trail at this point. There is a trail that's above me. If I can make that switchback, I can get onto that. So, Anyways, that'll be the start of the trails, um, vehicle trails, access trails, just so, um, like I said, for main maintenance and getting wood from here. Actually in here, there's a decent tree here. It's gonna make okay firewood. It's been down for a while, but I don't think it's rotten. This one just up here. Uh, looks like it's about a foot in diameter. 
but uh, I can get good 20 rounds out of it. So that's that's a few days worth of wood for the for the stove. I'm almost done the walk through. So there are some more trees down. Some of them I've actually uh, cut up already into sections. They just have to be moved. They were frozen in the ground. Uh, I'll take care of that. But um, I think it's drivable. It's gonna have some challenging sections. Uh, just untracked snow. That's kind of deep. And it's icy sections. But uh, there's enough anchor points for me to hook up the winch in case I get the Jeep stuck in here, which is a, I'm going to try to avoid that. That's just going to be a lot of extra work trying to do a soft recovery back here. If I get stuck back here, there really isn't much uh, help from anybody else with the vehicle. So I got to make sure if I get stuck, I can get this thing out myself. Other than that, I, I'm pretty confident I can get in here and there's actually a bit of timber I can start. To, there's probably a whole trailer load just on that little section I walked. So, but the trailer's full, so that's another little project. Get rid of that cardboard that's in it, and there's still sand in there that I used for the driveway. I'm pretty well ready to go here. I've aired down to about 15 PSI. So it should go okay. The initial drop-in's gonna be a little bit awkward. Uh, my left tire is going to drop down and run over that little tree and the right side is going to climb up on this little lump. So it's going to get a little tippy. If I start sliding around there is a there is a chance of a rollover too. So it's going to be a little bit of white knuckle the initial drop in and then after that it should be okay. Snow's gonna get a little bit deeper back here. And there's a couple of things I have to cut. So some of the snow is about a foot deep here. And you can feel it starting to slow down. Come up here a bit. But uh, yeah, that's a tread on here and I'm air down a lot. So it's getting really good traction. I should really be cutting this. I'm feeling a bit lazy. That's that. It's a nice open area. Oh, the snow's a little bit deeper too. But 
it's icy and hard enough, it's staying on top. So I think the challenging part's the switch back here. I'm just gonna sneak through these couple of trees and then try to go up. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky, I think. Let's give it a shot. If we don't work, we'll winch up or back down. A little bit awkward here, it's not that much room. Then a stiff climb, right out of a right turn. Might have to back up. Uh, digging in. A lot of ice here. No go on that one. One thing is I've got the tires turned so much it's really hard to, uh, creates a lot of friction when you do that. So we'll try second gear, straighten up a little bit. Keep a little bit of momentum going here. And no. Let's try first gear again. Digging deep, but not quite. This is the time where you want some lockers. Because the open diffs, it's pretty hard. You only really got a couple of tires and a half doing the work. Let's try again. like it's gonna work and a little bit further that time but yeah with the ice and everything the, the snow is not really good for traction because once you break it up it just turns into like uh, crumbly sugar not not today but it'll make it eventually I'm gonna try second gear again, it's a little taller, gives you just a bit more oomph, but it's pretty hard on the drive line too once you start grabbing. Yeah. Well, touch the fence on that one. Got a little higher again, but <laughs> it's pretty hard on the Jeep, really. So I'm not gonna do this too much more. So, we'll skip that one. I kind of chewed up the bottom, so I'm not in my line anymore. Try to back down, get into my original spot. is I crab sideways and I get into the fence and I lose all my speed. Not bad. It's kind of frustrating. 
kind of fun at the same time. It's hard to film and steer at the same time. You gotta get pretty quick in the steering just to correct what the Jeep's doing, trying to do. It's close. white knuckled ought to be super quick on the wheel and just on and off the throttle Whew. all right that kind of sucked Jeep smells a little warm but yeah, the snow kind of gets like this. This is no traction, and this is like driving on sand almost. All right, that part's done. I went to the house. I forgot my chaps, which I really like to wear. Doesn't matter if you're just cutting a little bit. Uh, like I said before, this is not a place to get hurt. And certainly don't want to be going into town and certainly don't want to be going to the hospital. So anyways, I just go flat out safety as much as I can. Uh, the back of the Jeep is empty. And I've got a couple of logs here. There's also a couple more logs up there. So I've got the steel. I'm going to use the steel to buck them up. It's a little quicker than the, uh, the pull-on. <clears throat> this is just the initial cut I've done from the winter the winter down trees, I guess. Uh, there's still plenty of wood in here, but um, I've got the trail cleared. So this trail will actually lead back to the house, which is pretty cool. So I just did a bit of a loop. I did the very bottom along the fence line, did that switch back that gave me a hard time and came under this trail. Um, there is a trail that runs higher and also this way. I haven't really uh, done anything with those. Then, the challenge is to get a trail up higher or find a connector because I can't get through where the house is. I think there's a septic field there, so I don't want to drive on that. So either a drive back out to the shop and build another approach to get up higher, which I've already partially started because none of these roads really connect through unless I make them. So I'm going to find the best way to do all that. But in the meantime, let's get this wood and fill up the other side of the shed because I think actually this tree was dead it's probably almost seasoned but uh, I'm gonna put all the stuff on the other side of the shed wood some of it wasn't any good it was kind of punky I'm just gonna go up here and uh, check out the rest of the trail I think it's pretty clear I haven't been driving on this at all yet and then we'll turn around just a couple more logs I'll take care of but this is the original trail that I've worked on when we first got here it's close to the house I started clearing it so that looks in pretty good shape. There's a spur that runs down here. It's a pretty big tree. I don't know if it's rotten. It's at the bottom. I'll go check it out on the way out. But yeah, I'm glad 
I'm glad there's all these old trails on site. I'm all loaded up. Now, all I gotta do is make it out of here. I got all the wood in the back too. I gotta make up that steep climb. It doesn't look so steep on camera, I probably doubt, but um, yeah, it's got a pretty good angle. That'd be a lot of force. I'm at the uh, the entrance. It's actually a pretty stiff climb. Now, I had so much trouble in the back corner, I don't think I'm going to make it out of here. I think the Jeep's going to be stuck down here for a while. Because it's pretty icy in here, but there there is more spots I can grab onto, so maybe the top the top's going to be a problem. And the bank's really steep, so if something goes sideways, I can't be backing down, I'll be making a big mess. Well, there isn't that many big trees up top either for winching. So, I like to put the camera down, because <laughs> I really want to stay on the ball here. Uh, well, I can't really idle up this, it's not going to work. So again, I'm gonna have to use a bit of, a little bit of force here and just try to get traction here and there. Well, let's go try second gear again. And just keep it going, I guess. Oh shit, here we go, sliding back. Okay, and that was a good pucker factor because I was sliding backwards, EBS kicked in, the pedal was rock hard and it just slid back. Oh man, it wanted to go over the embankment. It was kind of a shitty feeling for sure. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna stay a bit more left as much as I can. Stay off that bank. It really got going on me backwards this time. <laughs> wow, there really isn't much room for error. That goes down pretty steep. I'm um, gonna try to straighten it out. And I might have to take a pickaxe and bust up some of the ice. And actually I'm gonna look for a winch point up top. I would say that's pretty well all ice. Shit. Not gonna get any traction on that for sure. Got my neighbor's gonna come over. He's got a, I think it's a Tundra, full-size Toyota. And I gave this a few attempts, but it slides back. It's getting really slick, and when it slides back, it wants to head for this embankment. And it goes down pretty steep. It gets all sideways on me, so there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm gonna drive up a little ways here, maybe to about here. And then that's just where it bumps up and gets a little steeper. There's not much traction there at all. So I'm gonna let a whole bunch of line out and then hook up to him. He's, I'll just put him up top in the dry landing. You know, the Jeep wants to go. I mean, I can just let the clutch out and uh, off it goes. I've got to do this too slow, but that's, I'm just uh, trying to find the point where it actually slips and has no traction. And it's still going, but I'm gonna get into a bit of a problem here, so it slides back. So that's why we're gonna leave it right here. He's uh, my neighbor. The road, he's got a vineyard called, called the Lost Ram, I believe. So my winch cable's here, so this will Okay, I'm hooked up to the Tundra. We had to turn it around and use the front tow hooks. I've got the cable already tied, uh, taut. So I'm just gonna pull myself up and just stay in gear a little bit. See what happens. Tires are spinning a lot. I'm just idling up.
Oh, I started pulling that tundra down towards me. My rear tire is on a bit of a boulder on the other side. So I'll try to go. I'll try to go a bit more left. Yeah, I'm at the top. Hopefully I can finish the rest by myself. Justin's just moving out of the way. Good man. Trying to do our social distancing at the same time. <laughs> 